you're rushing around, life is hectic, and you need a quick dinner recipe, this Instant Pot Vodka Sauce with Pasta is the best recipe to try. Keep on watching this video and I'll show you how to make this 12 minute dinner. What is up everyone? Welcome to the Four and Fork Kitchen. My name is Alexandria and this is the Four and Fork where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. Today we're doing a dump and go recipe which is my favorite for busy weekday nights. We're gonna be making vodka sauce and pasta in the Instant Pot or pressure cooker. And all you have to do is basically put all the ingredients in the pot, turn it on, and when you open the lid you have a delicious meal that you can serve right away. So we're gonna get started with adding all of the ingredients except for one into the pot. The first thing that we're gonna need is one and a half cups of chicken broth, one and a half cups of marinara sauce. So you can do whatever you want with the marinara sauce. If I'm being really lazy, I go to the grocery store and I just get a jarred marinara from the grocery store and put it in the pot. I do have a recipe for a three ingredient marinara sauce that's on my blog. I'll put the link in the description of this video to that recipe so you can make that recipe and then use it in your Instant Pot vodka sauce or you can just use a jarred brand and I will not judge you, I do the exact same thing. We're also gonna add three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream and then one quarter cup of vodka. If you don't wanna use vodka, that's totally fine. At that point, of course, it won't be a vodka sauce recipe, but it will be another one of the recipes that I have on my blog, which is Instant Pot Palomino Sauce. Basically, it's just a mix between a marinara sauce and a heavy cream that makes a, a light pink sauce that's delicious too, so pretty much the exact same recipe, but you can omit the vodka if you'd prefer. We'll also add two teaspoons of chopped garlic, a half teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. The last thing that we're gonna add in here is eight ounces or a half pound of dry pepper deli noodles. If you don't have pepper deli noodles, if you can't find them, um, you can also use any other, pretty much any other type of pasta. But if you do that, make sure that you uh, do some research beforehand about how long that particular pasta needs to be cooked in the pressure cooker. Pastas have different times in the pressure cooker, so it might be a little bit different than what the recipe calls for. A standard tip there is if you're gonna be cooking a different type of pasta in the pressure cooker you've never experimented with before, a good place to start is taking the cook time on the back of that box for that specific type of pasta, cutting it in half and subtracting one minute. And that's normally how long you cook it in the pressure cooker for. Of course, that's not a one size fits all solution, so just make sure you do a little bit of extra research too. So I have all of the noodles in the pot. I'm gonna make sure that as much as they can be, they are covered with some liquid. They might stick out the top a little bit, but as they cook, they'll unfurl and then they'll kind of put themselves in the liquid too. We're gonna put our lid on top. Make sure that the pressure valve is set to pressure, and then we're gonna cook it on high for six minutes with a six minute natural release. After the six minute natural release is done, then we're gonna do a quick release and release the rest of the pressure from the pot. So now we're gonna open the lid, and all the pasta should be cooked inside. And I'm gonna give it a little stir. You can see that right now the sauce is, it looks the way we want it to, but it's a little bit watery. So in order to kind of thicken the sauce up a little bit, we're gonna add one cup of grated Parmesan cheese. This is really finely grated. I wouldn't use shredded because it doesn't melt very well. So I use finely grated Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna put it in the pot about one quarter cup at a time and then use my tongs to mix it up and allow the cheese to melt into the sauce. And once it does that, then I'll add another quarter cup of cheese. This technique is kind of similar to my Instant Pot Cacio e Pepe recipe that we made. In that recipe, we use Pecorino Romano cheese instead of grated Parmesan. 12 minutes after putting all the ingredients in the pot, we have a perfect meal that you can serve to the family. Great for kids, great for a quick weeknight dinner. And if you wanna add some protein to it, it's pretty easy too. I have people that have commented on my blog that they've added ground sausage in, they've sauteed it in the pot before putting the rest of the ingredients in. That's delicious. You can also add chicken into the pot as well. Cook it for the six minutes, six minute natural pressure release and it'll work perfectly. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you need written instructions, you can find them in the description of the video. Don't forget to check out all the other recipes on my YouTube channel. We have delicious pasta recipes made in the Instant Pot, so there's lots of things for you to check out. Don't forget to put some culture in your kitchen this week, and we will see you next week. Bye.